My name is James Probert and I'm the head of the Centre for Speech and Debate here at the English Speaking Union. The English Speaking Union is an international educational charity. We were founded almost 90 years ago, uh, just after the First World War, by a group of American and British friends. And their mission was that people from different countries who spoke English could learn to understand one another better through things like scholarships and exchanges, conferences and seminars, and also through debating and public speaking. Today, there are ESUs in 54 countries around the world, and we've got more than 15,000 members, and those same principles still apply. We bring together young people and professionals and give them interesting ways to use their English to take advantage of things like globalization, things like the increased availability of travel, things like the information revolution. That means that people from around the world can communicate with each other more easily. And by doing that, we help to generate cultural understanding and international understanding uh, that will last those people for the rest of their lives. The course that we've designed combines masterclasses in debating from some of the world's top debaters with workshops, debates, competitive events in which students are able to demonstrate the skills that they've learned during the course. There's also opportunity for students who come from many different countries of the world to spend time together socially, on excursions and evening activities. I think the aim of the course is to provide the skills that people need to take up leadership positions. I quite like the course because it uses debating to do that and the fact that I think debating is something that's important and something that's vital to kind of developing understanding. But debating is a means to an end, the means to making people able to take up the positions that they would like in life. We have to recognise that people might have different views and learn to express those views in a reasonable way, to listen to other people's views and to discuss them and to see how we can shape the world that now really belongs to all of us. And I think what's really exciting about the Global Young Leaders Programme is that it's equipping a whole generation of people with the ability to do that, the ability to get involved in their own societies, to become leaders in those societies, and to take what they've learned from other people from different countries and apply that maybe to their own backgrounds, their own cultures and their own countries uh, so that we do uh, create global understanding, uh, in this case through English.